Okay, so I'm going to show you how to run our studio, and I'm going to run it on a, a Mac. So the first thing we need to do is to run our studio. So on a Mac, which is that which I pre-installed, click on the R Studio icon, and uh, here's our studio. Here's the menus at the top for the uh, the blue cursor, and uh, it has access to files. Uh, here's the console where you can type in uh, our commands. Uh, So here I assigned a variable uh, a equals 10, then I'm going to print it out. And, uh, you can do little calculations. It's out of 20. Uh, and also, uh, we can actually do uh, plot little curves. So, this is from the example sheet. I'm just going to copy it again. And see, in this window here, it creates a little curve. Uh, and this can be exported and saved in various formats. The thing at the top, this is called the workspace environment. And see, it keeps a record of all the uh, different variables. So here we've got A equals 30. What's well, actually more convenient is to store the uh, the R code in a little file. So here, uh, here we have some commands. Uh, let's take some of this out. We've already plotted the graph, so I don't need to plot it again. So we can have a little collection of files, uh, store all the commands in a single file. Uh, and then uh, if you want to save it, uh, we can save it. And then to run it, actually, slightly confusing this slightly, confusing notation, you write actually source. And uh, in this case, it's, it's uh, uh, run all these different commands. Uh, okay, let's modify this. And you see one of the advantages there that I'm actually not typing so much code. Sometimes the actual uh, R Studio will uh, finish commands for you. And then we uh, if we source the code again. Okay, put a new line off there. Okay, run the command again. Uh, it's printed out. Up. So this is the best way to develop code. Is you write it there. And then you save it in uh, using one of these things in a directory. And you have to, if you save it in the shared part of your workspace, it'll be available every time. And you can see here that also the, the variables are actually stored here. So when you have uh, bigger codes, all the, it's useful to be able to interpret the little variables. And this comes in the workspace. One thing to remember is so if I quit out of uh, our studio, save everything. If I load it up again, see the variables come back into, uh, into the workspace, same beer automatically loaded in. So sometimes this is a good thing because it'll be able to uh, reuse parts of old calculations, but sometimes it can be a bit confusing because you've sometimes forgotten, perhaps even in another course, uh, this workspace. You should always check that this dot our data. Uh, what's actually in it. This could cause you confusion. It could either be a good thing or a bad thing. 